Kelly put the title of my talk incorrectly in the next here. We talked about uh, keyword, but the title is this one. So, um, first I want to give you a brief history of, um, of Keylog, which I think is quite instructive actually for a lot of photographers. So it's about 20 years old, it was designed in South Africa and they then produced a pretty good cipher. Um, then it got sold to Microchip, which is a US-based semiconductor company. Um, they did an excellent job marketing it as a remote keyless entry system. It was secret during all that time, and then you can imagine how the story plays out. It got reverse engineered not that long ago, and uh, in February 2007, a student of mine, Andre Bogdanov, leaked it to the crypto community. There were a whole bunch of attacks, the most powerful we saw yesterday is the first talk. And uh, in December 2007, we succeeded with side channel attacks and, and did inform microchip about that. They didn't react. Um, so when we talk about keylock attack, you have to bear in mind there are a whole bunch of different flavors and modes of operations. Um, and state of the art, this is the best mathematical attack is that. So we have uh, two main modes, challenge and response, IFF mode and rolling code. And we have two major key derivation modes here. You see, um, Mathematical attacks that we saw yesterday, which, which is extremely impressive from a mathematical <coughs> analytic point of view, we can only attack this one option here of all the key, key log options that we have. Unfortunately, what we see in practice is that it's mainly used in rolling code. So the question is, can we tackle the rolling code um, implementation of key log? Um, the two phases to our attacks is here an offline phase. That, um, which recovers the manufacturing key and then online, online phase. Um, how does this work? This is an actual power curve. <laughs> <laughs> with a based remote. You push here, this is pushing the button, you know, and see a small microprocessor or ASIC stance to compute. Here we actually see our F part is, is becoming active and something is being sent over the air. Here we write to the EEPROM, you see higher voltage. And this is where keylog encryption actually takes place. Okay, so it took us a one month, what you just saw, okay, to figure that out. Um, so, what are the results? Uh, if you give us a car key, it takes us between 10 and 30 measurements, 10 and 30 traces, we get the device key out. This is an actual curve here, we actually get a, got away with six measurements to compute the device key. Um, if you now want to get the manufacturing key, you, you have to get a hold of a car or a garage door. Okay, so this is the receiving device. We need a few thousand traces and we get the manufacturing key out. Even that is cool, it takes a few hours. Okay. So what can we do in terms of practical relevance? Okay, if you have a car key, we can clone a car key. If you have a car door, that means meaning we have a car, we can clone a car key. That means from a cr criminal point of view, it's rather disappointing, right? Because we have the key already or we have the car already. What's the point of cloning the key? <laughs> and that's where we get the second part of the attack into play. Namely, we eavesdrop, and in general, at most, we need two um, communications between the car, key opener, and the car. We eavesdrop on that, and then we do some more, more classical group analysis, and we can compute an identical clone of this car key. And this is, I think, nuclear meltdown from the security point of view. You can't do much better. The only thing that you can do better is that you would get away with one eavesdropping. So we need two eavesdropping. We compute that, we verify that against a whole bunch of promotion products. It's catastrophe. Even better, you do one reading and you clone the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last slide. Okay, okay. So one thing that I learned after all this press reports, there is a difference between doing car-based crypto analysis in Belgium. This is the value about use and this is how I foresee myself <laughs> when you talk to me in love of you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, it's the it's the Dania show. Uh, and Dania, I have no idea where's your presentation guys? Okay. I don't know if you guys can switch my across again. Yep. Well, we can carry out the microphone. And so, a few years.